you mentioned it briefly. You you spoke about dating apps, a uh, big sort of topic. How have they impacted what you do and how have they impacted dating in general, in your opinion? Oh my gosh. Well, I guess because... Big I'm question. Not... No, yeah, no. And I think it's a, it's a big question for me to answer. And the reason is because I'm long in the tooth in the dating industry. So I've seen a lot of trends and I've seen ups and downs and the effects of uh, traditional matchmaking, which is what I do with the modern twist of talking about emotion and sexuality. And if I was in the dating game as a matchmaker for a year, I'd probably just say dating apps keep us busy because people are burnt out. But actually, it's not emotionally, I mean, and, you know, for swiping relentlessly in the paradox of choice. But over the last decade, I've seen so many people go to dating apps that matchmakers have not been busy or matchmaking then only becomes for the elite because they are time poor and have high disposable income. I've then seen people get so overwhelmed with dating apps because they're not sure how to navigate them and the feelings that come up with regards to rejection and things like that, which we'll talk about a bit later, hopefully about what's going on right now. Um, and so I've seen peaks and troughs in my offline space as a matchmaker and dating coach. Right now, I'm busier than ever, dare I say, in a post-pandemic world. And that is because we've kind of been allowed out again for the last like year and a half or two. And so during the pandemic, I wasn't super busy as a matchmaker, of course, because it was literally an eagle for people to meet offline. But I was busy as a dating yeah. coach and people come to reconnect in relationships. Now they're back out there dating again and swiping around and they're experiencing the same feelings that they did. When I say they, I mean singles. Five years ago and forgot about. Um, it's always like the muscle memory wasn't, wasn't quite there. We'd had a long break from swiping and all of that jazz. So now I'm seeing the same uh, emotional trend as I did five years ago. It's where singles have so many other singles at their fingertips. They feel like the grass is greener on the side of the the other side of the next yeah. swipe. And the gamification of online dating has singles hooked into the process rather than meeting the people. That it's almost dare I say it's a big and heavy word and uh, you know don't sue me for it or whatever. But people are addicted <laughs> to the game of dating yeah. and it's just when it comes to apps. So they come to me because they're emotionally wiped out from all swiping. They've invested a lot of time, money and energy in meeting people. And the current stats are um, singles are spending anywhere on average between 10 and 15 hours a week uh, swiping and the conversion rate from swiping right and getting a successful online dating match to date is less than 1%. Um, 